At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Thursday, members of the Johnson County Fiscal Court joined at Highland Elementary School to announce $200,000 in funds for first responders in the form of equipment and other needs. During the event, Mountaintop spoke with Judge Executive Mark McKenzie about the announcement. But we're providing funding to our volunteer fire departments, 911, emergency management services, um, our sheriff's office. So we're providing funding to all of those folks, some additional opportunities that, that have arisen in the last few months that we can help them to further their services to our community. With funds from the American Rescue Act and coal severance, funds will go towards needs such as CPR machines, a new communication system for the Johnson County Sheriff's Department, and $10,000 for Johnson County's volunteer fire departments. We are getting uh, funded for two of them, one from the county of Johnson and one from the city of Paintsville. And uh, we've got grant applications for another one, so there'll be three total in the near future. Well, this is, this is extra. You know, this is extra for their uh, organization, and uh, you know that that means a lot. Uh, on the self-contained breathing apparatus grant, uh, there was a five percent match that each fire department had to make, and of course the judges provided funding for that. So those two items alone uh, is a big help and a big boost. Uh, for all of our fire departments in Johnson County. Currently we are dealing with an analog system. Communication in parts of our county are difficult now. There's not enough coverage. Uh, we have upgraded or in the process of upgrading to a, uh, to a system that requires two, uh, two towers with this communication grant that has been presented to us through the fiscal court, we will have a microwave link between the two towers, which will allow us to have a system that should be able to have good coverage throughout the entire county. Well, the good thing about this is that we've got the flexibility to get whatever our particular needs are. Uh, we have needs for swift water rescue. We have needs for uh, wildland firefighting. You know, like a lot of the departments in the area, we've been out a lot these last couple of days. So uh, there are hand tools and different types of hose and equipment we may need for that. So we're just going to have to sit down as a group, as our officers of the department, and set some priorities and determine what would be the best route to go with this funding. Also included was $50,000 that will go towards moving the county's 911 center to a new building. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.